story is Toy Trouble, written by Jenny Woods, illustrated by Federico Bonafacini. There was a lot of noise coming from 23 Blossom Drive. The children had gone away, and the toys were arguing. It's not fair! I never get invited to the dolls' tea parties! We don't get to play on the pilot set or drive the fire truck. I'd just like to visit the fairy castle. Suddenly, Fairy Fifi whooshed past on a big rocket with a crew of fairies waving from the window. We can do what we like while the children are away. In that case, I'm getting changed. This spacesuit is itchy, and the helmet is messing up my hair. Spaceman Sam put on a sparkly jacket and a cowboy hat. Perfect! You can't wear that! A spaceman has to wear a spacesuit! But Sam took no notice of Teddy. He was too busy admiring his new outfit in the mirror. So Teddy tried to stop the fairies instead. Go back to the castle! But the fairies wouldn't listen. Worn out, Teddy flapped down on a chair. Move! I'm getting my hooves polished and you're in my seat. What are the farm animals doing in the beauty salon? We're being pampered! And getting fabulous new hairstyles. Teddy tried to herd the farm animals back to the barn, but they refused to go. Stomping out of the salon, Teddy almost crashed into a unicorn pulling a golden carriage full of soldiers. Oh! It clattered to a stop sending the soldiers tumbling to the floor. Where's your tank? This carriage is much nicer. It's got a mini fridge and a disco ball. Did someone mention a ball? Captain Crossbones clambered down the rigging of the toy ship, followed by Scurvy Sue and a band of fearsome pirates. I've always wanted to go to a ball. Me too. Let's hold one at the fairy castle. Pilots, don't go to balls! Teddy shouted and stomped his feet, but the toys were much too excited to listen. The dancing pirates leaped out of the way as a police car pulled up, its sirens wailing loudly. Thank goodness! You've come to help me. Don't panic. We're here to get the party started. The policemen turned on their flashing lights and led the toys into the fairy castle. Teddy sat in the toy box feeling annoyed. He could hear music and laughter coming from the ball. Perhaps I better go and keep an eye on things. At the fairy castle, the dance floor was crowded with toys of all shapes and sizes showing off their dance moves. It looked so much fun that Teddy couldn't resist joining in. Teddy waved his paws in the air as he bopped and boogied to the beat. He didn't hear the sound of footsteps outside the playroom door or hear the toys shout, Stop dancing! The children are back! Teddy froze in the middle of a twirl. Quick, tidy up! Frantically, the toys put everything back in place. Well, almost everything. Suddenly, the door swung open and the children ran into the playroom. What's happened? This isn't how we left it! 
Teddy held his breath. Mommy must have cleaned and mixed up all the toys. It's given me a great idea for a new game. Now we can all try something different. Thanks for letting us tell you a story. If you like to support the author, illustrator, publisher, and you and us, click the link below to purchase your Valium copy. If there's a story that you would like read to you, please message us on Facebook or Instagram. You can find the links in the video description. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. See you